There's this new AI tool that's been out for about a year now, and it's already fooling architects and clients within the industry. Now, this tool is not revolutionary or completely changing the game or anything, but it's more of just a neat little feature that has fooled some people. And that is the photo or 3D model to sketch rendering AI. Now this has been out for around a year and quite a few people know of it and we've used it a few times within the industry. But essentially it's when you input just a basic 3D model into AI and then it produces a hand-drawn sketch from that. Now it can be quite controversial obviously because a lot of people will say oh no it's replacing sketches and hand drawing and analog drawing. Well yes I think it is. But actually, funnily enough, I found that those who know how to use this tool best are actually people that are well versed within hand drawing and being able to sketch. I know that I was able to get the best out of this tool because I have experience in hand drawing and I'm able just to grab a piece of paper and start sketching. Whereas if I didn't know how to do that, I probably wouldn't have as much control over this tool. But we're going to take a look at this tool now. So my favorite one to use is Prome AI. Uh, you can use it for free or register, but we go ahead and we'll go to photo to sketch. You can see what people have made in the community. We're going to go ahead and open up Rhino. I've got this project that I made here previously in Rhino, but what we're going to do is set up a quick camera view. So we'll go, we'll just put a two point perspective. We'll just set up a nice view and then I'll go ahead and change this to pen. So you see we've got this 3D model, we can just grab this and then we can just save this as a separate thing. Drag and drop it into Prome AI. And now we'll be able to make our own hand-drawn sketch from an actual 3D model. So if you want to fool someone into thinking, yeah, I've actually drawn this by hand, but in reality it's all AI, which I think is a very interesting thing. So my favorite one to use for architecture is fine line art or pencil art. Mode will just keep it on precise. So you just choose the style, the mode. Um, you can put in prompts to help it. Like if you want a specific style or something. Uh, if you have the premium version, you can make it detailed. We can go fast mode. And then we'll go generate. You can see we have a few good results already. You've got some slightly more hand drawing looking ones or close up you see because we have a lot of detail within our input model it's going to give us a lot of detail on our output um and this can kind of give it away like if you show this to a client they'll say oh did you really sit there and draw all of this we'll just go ahead and upscale it quickly and it can be a little bit obvious that you might have used ai uh, depending how close up you look because you know, if you know lots about, we'll just go ahead and upscale this. There you go. So now that it's upscaled, if you know um, what you're looking for, you can kind of tell it is AI if you look up closely. And with an AI, it's going to put the same amount of detail in a sketch, sketch throughout the entire page. Because if you think about it, if you're actually drawing by hand, you're not going to put an equal amount of detail, say, in the background as you would the foreground. Whereas the AI is not quite capable of emulating things like that. You know, if, you, I, if I actually drew this, I wouldn't go ahead and shade this back shadow so much. You'd have more detail in the prevalent things you're trying to convey, uh, if that makes sense. But if you input a more basic model, it can kind of counteract that. So let's go ahead and input a more basic model. Say, you've got this simple Rhino model. And if we input this, we just input this since there's a bit of uh, less detail and less things going on. You can also go ahead and crop your image just to bring it down a bit. Uh, the less detail that there is, the more realistic it's going to look in our final output. So we'll go back to fine line art. We'll go generate. There we go. So that's a much more realistic kind of hand drawing that you'd actually come up with. Same with these ones, got some interesting textures going on. Uh, that one, well, not so much. I mean, it is very hit or miss. You can also change uh, to things like pencil, pencil art. But fine line art is my favorite one. You can also turn detailed off. And you'll get a more basic kind of look. So I really do like the result of some of these, you know. You could absolutely fool a client if you 
kind of show them this and say, yeah, look, I kind of sketched this. Um, you know, as I said, it's not revolutionary or anything. It's not going to completely change the architecture industry, but it is a neat little tool if you want to have an experiment. And actually, if you download this and then print it out onto paper, it really does look like it's been hand drawn. So that's just a quick video updating you guys with one of the new tools that are out in the industry. I intend to keep up with all the latest AI tools and finding things that are actually useful to incorporate into your design practice or projects or university projects. On my website, I do have a section just for AI where I go into more in depth of new AI tools that come out and in the industry is one of my jobs to actually stay on top of all of the AI software. Um, and I directly feed that into the architecture elite, keeping you up to date with the actual latest AI tools. As soon as a new AI tool comes out in the industry and it's useful, you'll find that on the architecture elite. Uh, before I bring it over to YouTube and we kind of talk about it on here, because this came out about over a year ago now. So if you want to check that out and keep up to date with that, I'll leave a link in the description. Otherwise, I'll still be updating things on this channel and keeping you guys in the loop. So I hope you can use this tool sometime and maybe fool a client or architect. And thank you for watching.